That's it. Three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, next exercise up. We're going to go for our strict press with the weights. We're going to go for our walk out for the shoulders. Okay, walk back up. Strict press or walk out. Three, two, one. Let's go. Weighted exercise. Strict press. If you are working at home and you only have a kettlebell, there's a couple of things you can do. Grab your kettlebell and you do strict press up overhead. Or if your kettlebell is a little bit lighter, stick it around and you can do five inside. Everyone else, let's see those walkouts. Let's check it out here. That's it. Walk away. You're going to get your hands really far out the front. So you're going to get those hands out the front. Okay, that will work your shoulders versus standing walkouts. Now you're going to far out. Yes, that's it. Okay. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. Next one, up, team. We've got our squat. Oh, sorry, lunge, lunge, squat, and squat. Lunge, lunge, squat, and squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, one side. Lunge the other side. Deep squat. Deep squat. Lunge. Lunge. Deep squat. Yes, the back back squats. Good stuff. Into the side step. Drop that back knee. Stand it together. Opposite side step. Drop it together. Or squat. And squat. Ten more seconds, team. Keep back and out. Excellent work. Good stuff. We're doing that side. See, three, two, and one. We're down the floor for those colors, guys. Stay on the floor for the colors. So remember, you can have weights up, nice and slow. You need to do single leg extensions. Further back, if you want to go advance, we're just making the colors for body weight. Three, two, one, let's go. You can mix it up too. Even the body weight, you can have those hands extended over the head. Very good behavior, that's what I like to see. Excellent work, bye. Remember, you can do a single leg extension as a variation. For strong in the best. Good work, team. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. Our relax to start. So we're going to do the alternating push ups. So we're going to do chest lines. And you know what? We're going to add an extra five seconds on in this round. So you're going to work for 45 seconds on with a 15 second break. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Alternating push ups, we're going to do three sides, two, three, swap sides, three, each side. Good work. You're doing your chest flies, you're down on the floor. You need your flaps, the weights are on the chest. Drop it down, bring it back together. Let's see. Extra five seconds on this one. We're going to work for 45. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, back is the next. We're going to work those skewers to opposite sides. Or you're working with those flies. Five, four, three, two, and one for any of the weights. They're up their feet, sitting the chest and shoulders flat, sitting the flesh. We're going to have the chest flies from the front. See the fly. If your weight's going to be too heavy for those black flies, work some black rows as well. Those are your clothes. Good stuff on the swimmers. If you've got the pace, you can speed it up. Don't worry if you don't, you can pump and hold and squeeze. That's a few three seconds. Again, my coordination this one for some reason is not a scratch. All of you have had eight more practice. Good work. 
All right, five, four, three, two, and four. Okay, shoulders next to our foreheads. Remember our foreheads. You want to see you extend past the class. Is you're going further than your regular pigeon position. Once again, those shoulders fall. If you struggle with that, you can do it on the knees as well. Okay? Three, two, one, let's go. For those of us who are doing weights, squat down and pick up our weights, it's just going to be a strict overhead press. Okay, of course, if you get tired towards the end, you need a little bit of momentum to get those weights high in the air. Up over, full extension, three, five, ten. Everyone else has those walk outs. Okay, we're going for those walk outs. Go for 30 seconds down. Go for 15 seconds for that to go. A little bit further out, right? that's what we want to see. Good, good, good. That's it. Three, two, and one. Good distance in. Good distance in from the first stuff. All right, next one up, we've got our lunge, lunge, squat, squat, okay? Up to our feet, lunge, lunge, squat, squat. So lunge to one side, lunge to another, two squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Good work, 20 seconds left to go. Nice one, team. Back hacks are on, love it, love it. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get those weight flutters. All right, down the floor, we're going to do hands over heads. We're again seeing the leg extensions if you're struggling at all. We're all back to your heads. Five, four, three, two, and one. Those weights you have to pump the air into the flutters. Or extended. Again, that leg is absolutely fine on this as well. We've got Frank coming up off the strand, we're going to get some water. Keep going to the end, guys, 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good stuff. Alright, take another break, we've got 60 seconds off. We're going to do two more rounds. This time, it's 50 seconds on. 10 seconds off for both rounds. We're going to do two rounds in a row. That's 20 minutes worth of strength, and then we're in for a finisher. Okay, 20 minutes worth of strength, and in for a finisher. So, a quick break, 60 seconds, and then we're back into our alternating push ups. Just on the walk outs, guys, we're working our shoulders. What I want to see, too, again, you can do it on the knees if it's too much body weight in the shoulders. Get all the way out past to like the end of the back three. Okay, press against the fingers. That's just going to work the shoulders a little bit more of the chest muscles, all right? Again, you can do it up with the toes, you can do it down with the knees if you want. You need to take a bit of pressure off those shoulders. We want to see it inch out a little bit further each time, okay? 20 seconds after we go again, alternating push ups to start, our chest flies. Alternating push ups, left hand back, right hand forward. You do three on the left, swap sides, three on the right. 10 seconds left, we get going again. Chest flies from those with weights. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Good work. Three to the left, three to the right. I see. Seconds this side. Last 10. 10 
10 second changeover. Three, two, and four. Arms up the swingers or flies. Swingers or flies. Three, two, one, let's go. Locks on. So, I'm starting off today. Squeeze that foot, squeeze that lower back. The technique is really good for every point of the day, the location. The work of the yes, it's tough. For those that's on the weight, flies the right weights. We're going to show the legs back together and lift the head here. We should go to the lows, okay? 50 second rounds, 30 seconds day, and then we're 20 seconds. Let's go. Not nice way to talk about this here. What do you guys work at? Here we go for the last five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Arm across those shoulders. We're going to do our walk out nice and far. We're strip pressing the weights. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Out, nice and far, bring it back in. Down, out, nice and far, bring it back in. Those of us on the weights, we're going for a sweet press. Weights up to the shoulder, up and over. Extra work, team. 20 seconds left to go. How are we all doing out there? Yes, it was. That's it. Nice and far out. We're working. More strength, obviously, going on here as well. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. On to our feet, team. We're going to go for lunge, lunge, two squats. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, lunge. Lunge, feet apart, squat, squat. Now pull back, chest in, shoulders back, nice and high for the loop, on that back knee. Squat, and squat. Good work, team. Ah, boy, 25 seconds done, 25 seconds left to go. Two rounds on a long time, 50 seconds up, 10 seconds off. Love your life. Very, very get done, get it done. That's all I can see. All right, we've got another 10 seconds left to go. Another 10 seconds left to go. Whatever we're on for our floaters. Final one of the series. Three, two, one. Let's go down to the floor. Body weight or weighted. You have the hands over the head as well. Body weight. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keeping those legs nice and straight, nice and controlled. If you need to, what you can do is just shrug your elbows, tuck your thumbs under your hips to keep your that single leg extension, alteration, or variation of the moves. Halfway to the round already, team. Remember, we got one more round to go of our 20, and then we're back to the start. All right, last 10 seconds. Good work, keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. We're straight into those alternating push-ups for chest flies. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Changing every three. For those of us on the weights, we're going to go for those chest flies. Good work. Excellent effort, team. Just get that halfway point. Fifteen seconds left to go. You got this. Last five, four, 
four. You're going to do ten on the right, ten on the left. If you've got your weights or you use your five o'clock place, again, it's going to be up and over for ten. And your feet, as you can see, are staying wide on these ones. We're just giving a little alteration to the body weight. Then what I want everyone doing for final exercise is going to be push-ups with hands off the floor. Let's take a look at that. So you're going to push it done, hands up, up, two, up, three. Again, you can do these on the knees, down, up, one, two, three. Okay? So that is going to be our workout. It's going to be seven minutes on the finisher. Seven minutes, 100 bed climbers, 20 snatches each side, and then hands up the four push ups. We all good? Thumbs up. We know what we're doing. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. So, 100 bed climbers, 20 snatches, 10 each side, and we've got 10 hands up the four push ups. We started at three, two, one, let's go. Let's burn it for seven. Yes, 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 
into heels, okay? So even a couple of weeks ago, I noticed I wasn't able to do this quite as good because I was in bed sick for a few weeks. And now already I've noticed my quads have loosened up. So that's why I like to get us to sit here for maybe 20 seconds before we go into our little forward fold. And from here, we're just going to try to keep that bust down the feet and slowly work the head towards the floor. Try to keep that foot down. If you need to, you can push back into the, the heels. And then walk those fingers in front. And that's going to stretch out the lats. Three, two, and we'll, we're going to walk the hands over to the left hand side. Right hand on top of left, head to the hand. Breathe in for one. Breathe in for two. Breathe in for three. Let's take it across the opposite side. Stack the left hand on top of the right hand. Breathe in for one. In for two. In for three. And we'll go back into center. Now we're going to come up into a little tabletop position. Stack the hands over the shoulders. We're going to stack the knees over the hips. The toes are going to be tucked under. We're going to come up into a little tabletop. Here, what I want to do is bring the foot up to the sky. And we're going to go to a little down dog position here. Now let us just walk out the legs to start. Don't worry about getting the heels to ground. Just take it for a little walk. Okay, push into those hands. Nice flat back. Walk in those heels out. Three. Two, one, then just straighten out the legs, nice flat back, push it through the heels in the ground. If you need a bend, that's okay. Nice flat back, we'll just do a little dead dog. Three, two, and one. Let's walk those hands forward into a high plank position. Left foot stays on the floor, right foot goes over left, drive the heel into the ground, stretch it. Ah. Three, Two and one. Let's go opposite side. Right foot to the floor, left over right drop, and give it to the red, stretch it out. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. We'll drop it down to the floor. So we're going to stretch out your hip flexors. So knees are down, bring the right leg up, squeeze the butt, stretch it, stretch out the hip flexor, and then take the opposite knee towards the opposite elbow, twist it in. Make sure to stretch, make sure to keep that foot nice and tight. Three, two, and one. This leg in front, I want you to kick it out in front, hinge the hips, lock out the knee, reach out towards the toe, and then stretch out those hands. Three, Two and one. This leg that's in front, you're going to take it back to the back. You're going to place those hands to the floor. Look at my front leg and reposition it. So I bring my foot forward, chest is up to start, and I drop my hips to the heel, head, chest down. Now, the further out you can get your arms, the more you'll be able to go down, the more you'll be able to that loose. Three, two, and one. Let's bring it back up. Slowly walk the hands back up. Knees to the mat. And we're going to go for the opposite side. Okay, so left leg forward, right leg back. Squeeze that butt. We're on the opposite side. Squeeze the butt. Opposite elbow towards opposite leg. We're going to stretch out that big flexor. So you want to twist in towards the knee that's in front. So there you go. That's it. Good stuff. Three, two, and we'll take the leg in front, kick it out, toe points up to the sky, pinch the hips, reach out to touch the toe, and then stretch out that as happens. Three, two, and we'll take that left leg, swing it back around, hands down on the floor. You're going to drop your hip to your heel, hand to chest stay on the floor, and stretch in the foot. Three, two, and one. All right, let's stand ourselves up. We will stretch out the quads. Bring the foot back to the bust, knees together. Just pick a spot on the floor, somewhere that's not moving. I'll help you get your balance. Three, two, and one, opposite side.
three, two, and one. Let's do the groin turn across the side to start. I want to do it with the shoulder over here. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. Opposite side, over across. Stretch out those groins. Arm across the body, stretch out the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Let's just go down back. Stretch out triceps. And change your arms for the last one. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. Round of applause, guys. Well done. Get up nice and early. Get it done. Five minutes class later on. Two more classes today. Of course, we want to keep working out. Um, and we look forward to seeing you later on. Any questions, queries, feedback, etc., drop me a message. And you know it, guys. Stay safe. Stay sexy. There it is. Good. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. See ya.